I have found that this practice of waking up in the morning, getting some, some coffee and sitting down with blank printer paper and a, and a Bic pen, a Bic Uniball pen. That's the pen I like. And literally writing down everything that is in my brain. So for example, I was starting to get, re it, it, and then staying there long enough to then start to brainstorm. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was Friday morning. Uh, and, and again, we, we had a very disconcerting um, day here in the Bay Area where literally it felt like we were living on Mars. At one point, like my husband said to me, he, he was like, today is our work on our resilience day. Um, because it was, it was like we would, were living on Mars. Mm -hmm. Um, and what I wrote down on, on Friday morning was just all my different fears, all the different things that I felt stuck on, all the things that were scaring me, um, all the things that were bumming me out. And then I just looked at it and just putting it on a piece of paper mm -hmm. meant that I could let it go. Yeah. And for the next 45 minutes, I had probably some of the best ideas that I had had in a few weeks. And I do this every morning. So it's not mm -hmm. like there's just, there's some days that are, you know, better, better than others. But I found that by writing everything down, I could get it out of my head and when my head was cleared with no interruptions, you know, not checking the interwebs, you know, I, I had better ideas than I had had in a long time. And so that, you know, that has been my, one of my personal practices. I would say the other one is, you know, just also knowing myself well enough where when I am, when I am tired or I am done, I say, I'm done because this is a marathon, not a sprint. And everybody is more independent and more resilient than we give them credit for, including ourselves, including your kids, including your, you know, your friends, your family. And this is where I just come back to the, the job I have as a leader is to say, there's a path forward for us to take and for us to seize and I am going to be as clear as I possibly can be in what that is. And then I'm going to take care of myself so that I can show up for other people as a source of strength, as a source of clarity, as a source of focus. And I want to build my life such that that is how I lead. But it takes discipline and it takes like waking up every day and saying that over and over and over again to myself 